So now we are going to need to check out the animation that we used on him. So you should go into the major pack move where you have this little avatar here moving around. And what we want to do is we want to set up an event which is happening right when he kind of punches in the air here. So right around here, we want this explosion particle system that we just set up uh, want to go off. So we want to set up an event right about here, I would say. So right here, you go down here on events and then there's this little button right here. And when you click it, you add a new event. Over here, we have to kind of call a function. So whenever this event is um, called, we also call this function right here. So I would call it um, blast spell, right? So it doesn't really matter what you call it. You just have to call the function in your code later on the same. So hit apply. And now we go into our code. And in our code, we are, by the way, this is a third person user controller, the same one we used before in the tutorial. So what you want to do is you do another private function. No, basically not private, but a public one public void and then blast spell. That is the function that gets called once the event is is emitted. So this right here, this gets called. Then also we want to, to access our particle system. We are gonna say private particle Article system. There we go. And then an explosion. There we go. So we have this explosion, and we also need to give this the particle system it was supposed to have. And we're not going to do this here. We're actually going to do this by reference. So what you want to do is you want don't want to set this private but set it public and then you can just drag it on there in the script and we want to have m explosion play when this function gets called so we just say m explosion and then play this will start the particle system so now we go back into unity and here we have the fireworks and you want to place it kind of where you think that his fist will be once he punches the air so it kind of looks like he did that explosion so let's see let's align that yeah seems about right I would say all right so now we also don't forget to go in the third person controller and right here you now see the explosion and now you have to reference it so you take the fireworks blue large and drag it on here and now let me disable the smoke for a second so it doesn't play in the animation if you hit play and go into the animation, you can see that it is not working. That is very important. Uh, it should never work at the first time. So let's see why that is. Okay, so of course it didn't work because I misspelled it right here. That is very stupid to do. So now it should actually work. Alright, so as you can see now, there you have it. Kind of explosion once he hit the ground. You may align that later on if you want to look at it a little bit different. Maybe go the particles in different direction, but for now this is fine. So in the next tutorial we are going to discuss how to make the smoke fly like it is a 
fly spell.